All right. Well, joining us now in studio is sports is sports reporter Trevor Bain. Thank you for having me. Yes. Hey, thanks for being here. Elon Softball is teeing off against the University of Michigan as we speak. The score currently is 11 to 0 Michigan. The game against the number 19 team in the country became official just last night and is the first time the Phoenix have ever played Michigan. For updates on the rest of the game, follow along on our Twitter page at SportsENN. That was men's basketball head coach Mike Schrage after the team's senior day last week. The Phoenix had a rough week, but they turned it around with a dominant win against Colonial Athletic Association powerhouse Hofstra University, as well as following that up with against Northeastern. Now Shragi and the Phoenix will see if they can fulfill the promise of a strong march in the upcoming CAA conference tournament hosted in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. All right, Trevor, so there's been a lot of talk about seeding. So how is seeding important to men's basketball? Oh, it's absolutely crucial in the conference tournament. You want to be able to have the best path possible to try and win as many games as possible. And for Elon, try and hopefully get that conference championship win. Sure. Yes, of course. And it's my understanding that they should be either playing Towson or UNCW. And I know last year they played Towson in the conference. So what do you think the team needs to do um, to secure that win against either of those teams? Both teams are very tough teams. And uh, after the wins against Hofstra and Northeastern, they need to follow it up with another dominant performance because they just have so much momentum going into this that sky is really the limit for this team right now. Gotcha. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Coverage of the Phoenix Rundown in D.C. will be found on our website, elonnewsnetwork.com, as well as live updates from our Twitter at Sports ENN. So be sure to check both of those regularly throughout the weekend. Thanks for joining us, Trevor.